Filipino breakfast is well known for its silog dishes, various kinds of meats served with garlic fried rice. But at one Filipino breakfast spot in the D.C. area, a takeout window, they serve breakfast sandwiches instead. They're sandwiches with top-notch ingredients and modern sensibilities, so I'm getting a bunch to try. The best Filipino breakfast sandwiches on today's episode. Okay, I'm in Gaithersburg, Maryland, uh, specifically uh, in the Kentlands neighborhood of Gaithersburg. Uh, this is where Lapu Lapu is located, and they specialize in Filipino breakfast sandwiches. And uh, they have gained a, uh, a, a following and a uh, degree of recognition for uh, their sandwiches. Uh, partly because uh, they are very good and their reputation has spread. And it's also partly due to the fact that the chef, Javier Fernandez, is something of a local uh, celebrity, a, a very well-known local chef here in the D.C. area. That's what I'm saying. He opened a famous uh, lechon spot in Rockville, which is south of here. And uh, I should be going there at some point to do a video as well because his lechon is very famous. And in fact, he opened a lechon place first uh, before opening Lapu Lapu. Uh, so this is a kind of a sister concept. Uh, oh, speaking of sisters, uh, Javier's sister has a bakery also. And uh, I'll get to that too. That's also in Rockville. And uh, these breakfast sandwiches, I'm looking at them now. They're very uh, uh, sizable and hefty. Uh, this first one I'm gonna try is the Spam breakfast sandwich. And it has uh, Spam, obviously, but it also has something called soft scrambled eggs. And as I was ordering, uh, the young lady taking my order uh, uh, said that these soft scrambled eggs are, are not just your normal scrambled eggs. They are softer, obviously, and uh, Apparently they slow cook them and so they have a very silky soft texture about them. I guess I'll find out in a moment. Uh, I'm going to dig into this one right now. Ooh, as I'm picking it up, wow, it has a very soft feeling about it. It, it, it doesn't feel firm. It, it, the whole thing feels kind of soft, even the bread. This bread, I believe, is uh, uh, the Filipino pandasol bread. I, I hope I said that correctly, pandasol. Mm. Oh, ooh. One of those egg pieces fell out, and yeah. Wow, those eggs are particularly soft and gentle. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. Okay, that first bite was just mostly egg because the Spam is kind of buried into the center of the sandwich. But that, that initial mouthful of, of egg, I can see, yeah, that soft scrambled egg, it is very soft and silky, very gentle and uh, fluffy. Wow, yeah, that's not your normal scrambled egg. There's nothing uh, particularly firm or rough or, or coarse about those eggs. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a very substantial bite on this next bite because I want to get some of that spam. Mm. Wow. I'm I'm assuming. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming they pan fried it, but maybe they didn't. I don't see a whole lot of uh, you know caramelization on the exterior of the spam. It seems to be sliding out the backside of the bun as I 
press my teeth into the front side of it. But it, yeah, it has a very soft, very soft texture about it. And it's softer than I remember Spam being. So you have a kind of savory meatiness behind the Spam. There's smoked Gouda cheese and arugula. So, you know, all those uh, constituent ingredients uh, aren't inconsequential. They're, they're contributing something to the flavor. And there's a, a Lapu, is it Lapu Lapu sauce? <laughs> the house signature sauce is also in here. And that's kind of like a uh, Chipotle mayo. and. There's a zip and zing behind that, and it's also kind of binding everything together. Mm. Okay, I got a couple of sides also with my order, and uh, this uh, first side is the chicken lumpia. You know, lumpia, the, the kind of spring rolls that are very ubiquitous and popular in the Philippines. Oh, let me dip it in the uh, sweet chili sauce. These are small little lumpia. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow, that's good. Oh, let me try this next one without any sweet chili sauce on it. Uh, wow. Wow, that's good. Wow. I mean, these, these little things are no more than an inch long and they're really crispy. The exterior wrapper is very thin and you know, it fries up really nicely and it's very crisp. The chicken filling on the inside is very savory and very tasty. Ooh, okay, this next sandwich is kind of soft and uh, bulky, just like the first Spam sandwich was. And ooh, it is, Ooh, I got a feeling this is gonna be messy. Let me just take the top bun off and let me just see what's inside of this thing. Ooh, it has a fried egg on top. This is the bistec sandwich and it has pickled onion, some lettuce, and uh, what else does it have? Ooh, it has some, uh, I think American cheese on here, yellow American cheese. And there's supposedly some sort of garlic uh, adobo uh, mayo or something like that. Uh, this is chopped up ribeye. I, I believe it's marinated in uh, lemon uh, soy sauce or something like that. So I, I got a feeling it's gonna have a sour component to it. Let me just, let me just bite into it. Oh my. Wow. Mmm. Oh, wow. And that meat, that ribeye, that's all been chopped up like that, it has a really plush mouthfeel to it. It's almost like a sloppy joe, but without the sauce binding it together. Yeah, like a, like a sloppy joe sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> And this is the most popular, you know, fan favorite, uh, uh, the, the one that the customers get most often. That's what I was told when I was ordering it. And I can see why. It's a very meaty, very delicious meaty sandwich. Okay, my next uh, side item are the uh, tater tots. And uh, these are cut into coins or little medallions. And let me just try one unadorned. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, crisp and potatoey. This next one, let me dip it in the uh, accompanying uh, chipotle mayo sauce, the signature Lapu Lapu sauce, as it's known at Lapu Lapu. Oh, here it is. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Yeah, it's zippy with a little bit of spicy residual kick to it. I would say probably it's better with a little bit of that Lapu Lapu sauce. Okay, the next and f uh, final sandwich that I got is the Pak Su. Uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Pak Su, it's a braised pork. Uh, before I dig into this last sandwich, uh, let me just say uh, a few words about Lapu Lapu and why it's named Lapu Lapu. Uh, Lapu Lapu, if you don't know, 
is a Filipino folk hero. He's an actual historical figure. He fought, uh, he led uh, a group of men, I believe, and fought the Spaniards and uh, defeated them. I think uh, Ferdinand Magellan was one of the uh, people that he, that he battled and, and, and fought and, and defeated. And I, I think Ferdinand Magellan was killed in the Philippines, if I'm not mistaken. And the battle uh, occurred on one of those adjacent islands, one of the small islands uh, next to Cebu, uh, which, you know, Cebu is famous for lechon. And I think that's where Chef Javier Fernandez is from, that area. That's why he's uh, a master of lechon. And that's why he named his breakfast spot uh, after Lapu Lapu. And uh, this is uh, braised with soy sauce and vinegar, I believe. And it has uh, pickles in it. Uh... <laughs> wow. 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 I think it's sweet soy sauce and vinegar is how this is prepared. And uh, wow, and those pickles do add a nice sour counterpoint to the sweetness of the pork. And it's, it's very lush. It's not just straight up meat. I mean, it's really finely kind of minced and chopped up. And there's, I think there's some skin or some sort of cartilage or I don't know exactly what, but it's, it's not just, it's not just 100% pork meat to flesh so it, it has a kind of textural interplay between the flesh and those those i guess for a want of a better description those skin pieces i, I don't know if they're skin oh ooh, a piece just fell out oh it has some sort of there's a fattiness to it Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say skin and fat. I don't know exactly what it is. That's my best guess. And yeah, that makes it that makes it better because it's not just uh you know it's not just monotonously flesh. Not that having a, a sandwich of all just pork meat uh, <laughs> would be bad, but uh, that interplay between the the meat and the the skin is really nice. Hmm. Wow. As I wrap up this episode, I want to say thank you for watching and joining me today on this Filipino breakfast sandwich episode. And uh, if you like this episode, you might want to catch my previous Filipino episodes. I think you would enjoy those. And uh, as I said earlier, Chef Javier Fernandez, uh, the chef owner behind Lapu Lapu, also has a lechon spot south of here in Rockville, Maryland and his sister runs a bakery, a Filipino bakery. So I should be doing episodes on those two places too. So watch out for that. In the meantime, I want to say thank you again for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I'll catch you on my next food adventure. Bye-bye.